Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Sorry I delayed this one very much. I have been trying to get this one out, but I'm sorry. I do like to record at night, and usually most of the times I try to record, it's not nighttime. But today I found nighttime, so you saw by the title. I'm going to be doing an updated ground tutorial since I do have a new run, and a lot of you have asked for it in the comments and my Discord server, etc. And speaking about Discord, how about you join the Discord down below? We are approaching 3,500 members, so it'd be appreciated if you join down below. We also hit 24,000 subscribers today, so thank you so much for that. This is a huge milestone. I'm so happy for this. Now, let's get into the video. Alright, so where I'm going to be practicing and showing you guys this run is at Death Wall. Now, you can follow this or not, but this is just where I prefer to run because it has a straight line from here all the way to the double walls. Which is pretty handy because it's just a straight path right there. Or gazebo. Alright, so let's get into this. My run now is a little bit different, but it does consist of the same thing. Now, instead of running with my left in front, I do run with my right now. But this does not matter. It's a personal preference, really. If you can run with either hand, it does not matter. You can run with either one you want. So, how I run is I take my right hand and I make, I make a huge circle that goes over my head, okay? What, what's really important about going over your head when you do the circle like this is that it goes over your head and it gives you a huge downwards pull back motion. So the circle would look something like this. Now obviously this is just slowed so I can show you guys, but if it were to be fast paced it would be like a... Alright, so now for the backhand. The backhand, it's pretty hard and a lot of people don't get how this works. So here, I'm going to tilt to the side, so my backhand, I wrap it around, I go like, I start from back here, and I come over in front of my face here, so when I'm running with my head straight, I can see my hand in my, can in my I can see my hand in the left eye in the corner, and it comes around and it smacks and pulls right back like that. So that was slow, now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like fast. Alright, so now that you've seen the motion, now you kind of have to learn how it works. So this isn't like any average run where you can just do it straight off the bat. There is some ways you can practice on how to do this. So firstly, you can practice just straight up doing a motion slowly like this. Alright, now I showed you what you can practice it slowly. So that's how you want to practice. You want to make sure when you're doing it, you also balance your hands very well. So the way that you can balance them so you're not just going to be unbalanced hitting up too much with your backhand and then not getting enough front pull motion. So how you can practice this is when you go from the front circle all the way here, you want to already be, you want to already like be halfway up to your head here. And then when you're pulling back, you want to do like this. If you understand what I mean. So your front arm goes out like this, you're here, your backhand's already at the top of your head and you're going up. And you're literally pulling back like this and pushing at the same time. It's just the timing of how you do it. So see, you want to make sure that your front hand is always going first because that gives you the pull and then this gives you the push and the push up motion. So, so that was a slow representation of how you can balance your hands quite well. And that's the way to practice it, just by making sure that your front dominant hand goes first. And you always want to make sure when you're running, I forgot to include this, that your dominant hand is your front hand. It just makes it easier because your dominant is usually stronger than your other hand. Alright, so let's say that you've practiced this and you've gotten it down quite well, and you can balance it quite well. Now it gets to the point where you just want to be going full speed, and getting it to the point where you can run like any direction around the map. So this is where people mix up my run the most, is they think they can do it, but when they try to run around the map full speed, they just start messing it up and getting stuck. And I have noticed with this update, the snow actually makes me get stuck a lot more in the areas where it dips down and up. That can include areas like over there by the lake. I always get, I'm always getting stuck in this, this little area here, I'll show you. Around this area right here, all around here, around this lake area, because there's a lot of dips. For an example, here is one, you could be running and you could pull like down here, but when you're not balanced, you could just like hit wrong and it's like, you get your hands stuck like that. So I have a method also for not getting stuck in the snow and I'm going to show you this now. And this actually works perfectly with my run because of the way that it works with your backhand. 
Now, as you can see right here down in this corner, that's a huge dip. I'm going to be showing you a way that you won't get stuck. So let's say you're running and your front hand is right here and your back hand is going around, but you push wrong and your arm gets stuck like this and you get stuck into the floor. How you can counter this is what you want to do is you want to run and with your back hand, instead of like going front like this, you want to take it all the way forward and pull. That's just like one little minor thing that you can do to get not get stuck and I've actually done it quite a lot. So it would look something like this. It's just a little thing that you can't notice because if your front motion hand is stuck, you want to be able to pull forward with your other one just to get that one out and then you're good. Now this might not apply to all the updates, I just wanted to add this in since the snow probably will be here for quite a bit longer. If you think you've mastered the run and you think you can do it perfectly, I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like full speed. And I, of course I'm going to add the full speed version of the first person run just for you guys. That's what my run looks like full speed. So now all you guys got to do is just balance, make sure you're balancing it, make sure you're also not going to get stuck and use my method if that works for you. And if, and if all goes well and a lot of practice, you should be able to do this. You won't be able to do it overnight. It just takes practice and time. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. We're at 24,000 and this is a huge milestone. Thank you so much. Also join the Discord if you want Nitro giveaways. I do them quite often. So yeah, and now what I'm going to be doing is debunking all of the cheating accusations. So if you really care about this type of stuff, you can just click out the video if you don't care. But I'm just going to prove to you guys all the things that you type to say. I'm going to show you guys it's not true. Let's get into that. I've been getting also a lot of comments about me cheating. So I want to debunk all of these right now. So first of all, somebody has said I'm using a cheat within my camera mod, which I, I don't even understand how that's going to work. So I'm going to debunk this real quick. And show you guys that there is literally no cheats in my camera mod. Alright, so if I'm correct, you guys should be able to see right up at this top corner of the screen, there's a little menu. It's called Yuzi's Camera Mod. So this is essentially like the PC version of it where you can spectate, you could do controller free cam, control offset with WSD, spectator stare, some spectator stuff, and free cam speed and stuff. So basically what spectator is, it's not going to work because there's only me in the lobby. It just does a third person's perspective of someone else. Free cam, this literally just moves the camera around without the player, so you can like move around the map like in a free cam that isn't the player. And then load all maps in private, just loads all the maps open. Alright, so that I've shown my camera mod, I'm also going to be showing my world scale and, and I'm going to show my plugins folder. I know this wasn't a part of the ground tutorial, I just wanted to debunk, I just wanted to debunk some of these accusations because they are quite annoying. Okay, this right here is what's called my VR view. I've shown this in quite a bit of videos. This is where I can go to my Gorilla Tech settings, and you guys will be able to see. So let's see that right quick. This is video settings, okay? Now we're in pre-application video settings. This is where you do world scale and other type of stuff. So see here, overall world scale is off. My application frame rate, 90. Hertz, 90, okay? And you know what, just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna reset the default, go back, it's still 90. Show you guys that. And on video, here, let's go like this. Go back to game capture and now we're on game capture. My arm length is the exact same. I don't <laughs> I don't get why you guys are still saying I'm cheating and stuff. Here's proof, I don't use any world scale or anything. Alright, so we are on the VR view now and I'm gonna go to my file explorer. Right here we're in downloads. Now if we go to my plugins folder, which is my Steam. So as you can see here, it's Gorilla Tag, Weapon X. And plugins, these are my plugins. So if I try to delete these, it's gonna give me an error right here. This can't see right here it says the action cannot be completed because the folder or file is open in another program, which my game is open and I cannot be changing this during my game. I'm go in here and show you guys. See it's just Utila. There's no cheats within my camera mod. I don't get how that works. I can literally show this to anyone, it will be the exact same. Okay, so now we've debunked everything and now we're on my game view, back to normal. If you've watched this far into the video, I'm gonna give away 
this color code I'm wearing right now, this is not a secret red color code. This is one that is just a nice relic red color code similar to it. So I'm going to give this one away right now. And you know what? For 50,000 subscribers, whenever that milestone gets reached, I will give away my secret red color code. So let's give this one away. So now that we are in stump, I'm going to give away this color code. It is 802. If you watch this far in the video, please comment down this down below. And that's all I have to show for you guys today. I am going to be... <laughs> actually doing a lot more videos soon. I'm gonna try to get two out a week or one every three to four days, which we'll all try to do that. So that's all.